So what to do with all your leftovers? We've got all our leftover boxes, we've got all the leftover um, wrapping paper. We've also got some leftover food from, um, from the big day. So um, we've got some cabbage and we've got some mashed potato. So you can pretty much guess what I'm going to make. I'm going to make the classic bubble and squeak. 500 grams of mash I have left over. I've got about 300 grams of, of cabbage um, and greens, okay? And we're gonna have about 100 grams of smoked bacon. And, and we're gonna cut this up into little slices and get that frying off, get this bubble and squeak made up while the rest of them watch a Christmas movie. So over at the stove, um, we've got ourselves a frying pan and we've got ourselves about 50 grams of butter. Get the butter into the frying pan and pop the heat on that nice and low. So, uh, with our bubble and squeak is in the pan now and it's cooking away, um, and you've got to be a bit brave with this, okay, because you need to get it almost burnt on the bottom. So it's going to take 10 minutes or so, maybe even 15 on the one side, and then you're going to need to turn it over. So we're going to leave this to cook for about another 10 minutes or so on a, a reasonably high simmer, um, just so that that starts to sort of hold together, and like I said, the bottom of it is almost burnt, it's got a nice brown crust, and then we can flip him over and do the other side. Okay, so as we can see, um, this has been cooking for about 10 minutes or so now, and when you shake it, that's the whole thing moves around in the pan. So it's nice and loose, and we've got ourselves a plate here. Okay, I've got a bit of um, olive oil on there, so I've greased up the plate. We're going to tip this straight off the heat onto that plate, and then we'll turn it over. There he is. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our pan back on top of there, like so, and try and turn the whole lot over. <coughs> Keep cooking it. Okay. 
And there we are. So with our bubble and squeak, it's been cooking now on the other side for about 10 minutes or so. It's all nice and brown and crispy. It's time to get that out of the pan, get it on the side and serve it up. And it doesn't matter what you serve this up with. You could serve this up with a steak or you can serve this up with um, some turkey and leek pie. Uh, whatever you serve it up with, it's a great way of getting rid of your leftover mashed potatoes and cabbage. Let's serve it up.